Madeline. Thank you so much for being here to watch my video. I'm so excited about this classic holiday Christmassy makeup tutorial that I filmed for you guys. There is nothing better than some wings, fluffy lashes, and a bright red lip for this time of year. And I really go in depth with details on how to do wings, how to apply fake eyelashes, and how to get a great bold lip. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So to begin this look, I will be applying my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer to my eyes, and I'll be using my bling brushes. I love using this old bronzer just to continue to get use out of it, and it looks so good on the eyes. So I'm first taking the E14, and I'll be patting this all over the lid. This We'll just give our lids a little bit of color so that we don't just have like pale eyelids and then a black intense wing. I cannot believe that Christmas is next week. Oh my god, I am so excited you guys. So now taking the blending brush, I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm also going to blend this right underneath my eyes as well. I apologize if my voice sounds weird today. I think I am fighting off another little cold because I've been having post nasal drip like crazy. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to my other eye. That just adds the perfect little something something that I wanted on my eyes. You guys can seriously use any old bronzer that you have laying around in your collection. So to create my wings, I will be using my Sephora Brush Tip Liquid Liner. This is a great dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. If you are not super comfortable doing wings yet, I highly recommend using just a little piece of tape about like that long or so. And then just kind of line it up the best you can where you would want your wing to be and just place that lightly right there. That works like a charm for just like stopping it where you want it to be and then creating that perfect wing. I'm just gonna wing it, which might not even go so good because I'm like warm, sweaty, anxious, and shaky today and I don't know why. I feel like it's just because I'm not like feeling the best and I don't know, ugh. So I'm just gonna start about right here. I typically stop my eyeliner right about there. We are about to start the wing process, people. What I like to do is just like drag out that line and just go for it. There we go, just like that. And then what I like to do is just connect the bottom. I'm very bad at explaining this, I'm sorry guys. Just like that. And this is a little bit patchy on the very tip of the wing, but I do want to kind of like smudge this out with some black eyeshadow so I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Now I'm just going to fill in this little triangle. So I am happy with how this one turned out. Now I'm going to move on to my other eye, but I'm going to speed up the process for this side. Just know it is okay if your wing gets kind of patchy like this because we can always go back in, add more liner, and it all works out on the end. I know it's very hard to get that right mindset when you're doing wings, but seriously, I swear they can smell your fear. So just try to ignore it and just go for it. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to get the right view filming while I'm trying to like be close to my mirror right now. Dang it all, my right eye always goes so much better than my left. So if your wing is looking like this right now, have no fear because we are about to smudge some black eyeshadow on this just so that they aren't so sharp. Like I really don't want sharp wings. I want them to be kind of smoky. This is also gonna clean up the wing. So this will be the forgiving part, if you will. So if you are not that great at doing wings, you will like this next step. So in my Tati Beauty palette, I'm gonna be taking my matte memory shade right here and I'll be applying this with my BH Cosmetics 11 brush. So I just lightly dip the brush into the eyeshadow and here goes nothing. I'm so glad that I'm doing this. Like I already like how this is softening up the wing. So I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but it just really does soften those edges. It makes it not so cut and dry, I guess. So I am doing this on the entire wing. All right, so I'm happy with the outcome of this wing. I'm gonna move on to this eye and also speed up this side. So 
So now for my waterline, I'm just gonna be using my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in black. I really recommend not skipping that step because it just connects the top liner to your eyes. Now I'm just going to do a quick coat of mascara. I'm just using up this mini Too Faced Damn Girl mascara. Okay guys, so now it is time for false eyelashes. I will be going through step by step showing you guys the easiest way to apply them. And for today's look, I'm using the Velour Lashes in the style Here to Slay. So the best way to get false eyelashes out of their packaging is to grab a tweezers, grab the outer part of the lash, and you just kinda, you wanna pull fast. Rip it off like a band-aid because you don't wanna damage the lash, and for some reason, that doesn't damage it. So step number two is measuring the lash to your eye shape to see where you need to cut it off. You do not just wanna apply the lash like that and leave all this extra part hanging off. So, oops, I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> So I just cut off a little chunk. Now I'm going to check to see if I need to cut off more. No, I do not. It looks like that length is going to fit my eyeball pretty well. So also to form the lash to be more of a natural shape, you can just take both sides like this and just kind of like wiggle it back and forth. And I'm gonna be using my Lily Lashes Brush On Lash Adhesive. I'm going to apply a very thin coat of this. It's gonna be hard to show you guys, but I'll try. So this is how much I applied to the lash band. Also, this eyelash glue dries very quickly. So I just wait about 30 seconds and I fan it as I'm waiting. And what you're doing is just waiting for the glue to become tacky. That is one of the first humps that you have to like get over and climb and realize when you're just getting into wearing fake eyelashes. Cause I used to just put on the glue, try to stick it on my eye and I'd be like, why isn't it sticking? You have to wait for it to be tacky. So just about 30 to 40 seconds and it does change color color as you can kind of tell and it is ready to be applied so I do just grab the lash in the middle like so with my fingers and I look down at my mirror and then I just place the eyelash in the middle part of my eye just like that and then I'm gonna grab my tweezers and I'm just gonna stick the edges on the outer part of my eyes So now I just go through with the tweezers and just kind of like push the false eyelashes onto my real ones. Oh my gosh, I really do think that these are my new favorite pair of eyelashes. What they are so pretty. And how perfect is the name of these lashes? Here to slay for a holiday tutorial. If only it was spelled like slay with reindeer. So now moving on to the other eye, just removing the lash from the container. And I know just about how much to cut off to match the other eye. Now just holding on to both edges of the lash and just wiggling it back and forth so that can kind of mold to my eye shape. So applying a thin amount of lash glue. Now we're gonna wait 30 seconds for this to dry. You can just kind of tell that it dries down to be like a darker blue shade. So grabbing from the middle of the lash, looking down into my mirror, and applying this in the center of my eye. Then I'm grabbing my tweezers and pressing each end of the lash onto my eye. Sometimes I do this just with my fingers as well. Just to make sure the lash is very snug. There we have it. I hope that helped you guys. I hope I explained that good. I'm just thankful my lashes actually cooperated for this step because I was like, please Lord, like let this go well so that I can hopefully teach someone how to apply fake eyelashes. So now I'm taking that flat angled brush. I am taking more of that eyeshadow and just going to touch this up a little bit. So that just makes sure that we did not lose any intensity of the wings after applying the fake eyelashes. So now I am taking my little Sephora eyelash comb and I just like to lightly blend my natural lashes in. 
I do think that this look deserves a blending highlight and for me that would be the Ofra All of the Lights highlighter. This is what I have on my cheeks and I love it. I am so obsessed with it. I'm also going to be applying this into the inner corners of my eyes. All right, now it's time for lips. So if you saw my Kylie Cosmetics Christmas collection video, you know that I purchased her little mini liquid lips. And I've been debating between Keep the Receipt, the very bright, bold, intense red lip, or Santa's Real. So for this look, I decided to go with the bright, bold, and beautiful Keep the Receipt. Before applying the red matte lip, I am going to be prepping my lips with the Cherry and Bright EOS Lip Balm. The best tip that I can give you guys before applying your red lipstick is to line your lips. In high school, I learned this from a friend of mine. I was like, I wanna wear reds, but I feel like it just makes my lips look so much smaller than they actually are. And she's like, girl, line your lips. And lining them just plumps them up. They make them look full and it's the way to go. <laughs> so for the red look today, I'm gonna be using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cherry Skies. Oh my gosh, this applies so good. I swear NYX has the best lip pencils. This is the only red lip liner that I have at the moment, so. So that is good enough. Now we are moving on to Kylie Cosmetics. Keep the receipts. So as you can tell, that lip liner does not match this, but it's better than nothing. We'll blend it and make it work. That lip liner actually wasn't so bad. So it looks okay, but to me it's not perfect. I do need to get close to my mirror for this part and just clean up the edges and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, then if you really wanna complete the look, my mom got me this cute little Santa hat at Walgreens. But this is the final look. I hope that you guys love how this turned out. I am so happy that I went with this bright shade. I actually think it looks really beautiful. It's just so bright and fun and it kind of matches the Santa hat like perfectly. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you go. And I hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas. It is definitely the most wonderful time of the year. I love you guys. Have a blessed Christmas.